Hi, kids. This is your Fantastic Four read-along book. Every time you hear this sound, it means it's time to turn the page in your storybook. Now, if you are ready, we will begin the Fantastic Four's exciting adventure called the Island of Danger. Don't forget to turn the page every time you hear the sound. Scientist Reed Richards, his wife Sue, her brother Johnny Storm, and top test pilot Ben Grimm all took off together in Reed's special spaceship to explore the stars. Suddenly, their ship was hit by cosmic rays. The rays changed them into the greatest superhero team of all time, the Fantastic Four. Reed is now Mr. Fantastic, a man who can stretch into any shape. Sue is now the Invisible Girl. Johnny has become the high-flying Human Torch. And Ben Grimm is now the Super Strong Thing. The Thing is so strong, he can lift huge 10-ton boulders as easily as if they were pebbles. And Mr. Fantastic's body is like one big rubber band. He can stand in one place and stretch his arms out as far as he wants. The Human Torch can fly like a comet, and he can control his great firepower to make fireballs, walls of fire, fireworks, and more. His sister, the Invisible Girl, can turn herself and other things invisible, and she can also make super strong invisible force shields that can stop even big trucks in their tracks. This is the Fantastic Four's home, the Baxter Building. It is also the place where Reed makes his many great inventions to help all mankind. As usual, Reed is busy in his invention room. His idea of fun is to do lots of work. That is why he spends so much time here, making all his different machines. The Thing and the Human Torch are the best of friends. But when they get bored, they begin to pick on each other. Hey, Matchhead, growls the thing to the torch. Get away from that giant TV set. I want to watch my favorite soap opera. You big ape, shouts the torch. You made me lose just when I was about to win. Ah, you couldn't win a campfire starting contest, shouts the thing. Oh, dear, says Sue. There they go, arguing again. What we all need is a vacation, says Sue. That's a great idea, sis, says Johnny. Let's go to California. I got a lot better idea, says the thing. Coney Island! No, says Sue. Let's get away from it all and go someplace really special. A South Seas Island where nobody has ever heard of us. But the moment they land on the island... It's, it's the, the Fantastic, Fantastic Four! Four! Shout all the natives. And they quickly rush out to welcome the superheroes they've seen so many times on TV. Welcome to our island, says one of the girls to the thing. I have never met anyone as strong and famous as you. Ah, mumbles the thing. Suddenly, a small boy rushes up. Help! Help! He cries. A giant tidal wave is heading straight for our village. It will wreck everything. Don't worry, says Reed. We will stop that wave. And quickly, they all jump into the fantastic car and zoom off. But when they see the wave, Johnny gulps. It's so big! How can we stop anything so huge? Have you forgotten, Johnny? My invisible force field can stop anything! Says Sue. Yahoo! Shouts Johnny, turning into the human torch. You did it! Yes, but the pressure of all that water is so great, I can't hold the wave back for long. Says Sue. You did your share, Susie Gal, says the thing. Now it's high time I did mine. I'll stop that overgrown water ripple. So saying, the thing claps his hands together with all his might. The air explodes with a deafening roar. 
sending a super shockwave straight toward the wall of water. Wow! shouts the human torch. You smashed that wave to smithereens, thing! Naturally, replies the thing. The wave may be smaller now, but it's still strong enough to damage the village, says Reed. Leave the cleanup to me, Reed, says the human torch. The steam cleaning, that is. And focusing his firepower on the largest of the leftover waves, the human torch quickly evaporates the water into big, fluffy clouds. As soon as they return to the island, the chief of the village shows everyone's thanks by giving Sue a necklace made of pearls. Oh, they're beautiful, says Sue. I've never seen any pearls as big as these. They come from an oyster bed far beneath the ocean, says the chief. And they are guarded by a giant octopus. <laughs> Only the strongest and bravest members of our village dare to pick pearls there. I'm not exactly chicken myself, says the thing. But I can't say I'd enjoy arguing with someone that's got eight arms. To celebrate the Fantastic Four saving the village from the tidal wave, the villagers throw a big South Sea Island banquet. Hey, this food is great, says the thing. What is it? Boiled octopus, says one of the women. The next morning, they all go out to have fun in the water. Whee! Says Sue. Surfing is so much fun. Especially when your husband's the surfboard, comments Reed. Wah, fooey, shouts the thing as his surfboard breaks in two, dumping him into the ocean. I think I'll go to the beach and work on my tan instead. That afternoon, Reed, Sue, and Johnny all decide to go deep sea diving. I've never seen anything as beautiful as these tropical fish and coral, thinks Sue. I wonder where that oyster bed that has the big pearls is, thinks Johnny. I bet I could sneak in and grab some pearls before that octopus even saw me. Soon, Johnny sees a bed of really large oysters. I bet these are the ones that have the pearls, thinks Johnny. What luck! This will be easier than I thought. But just as he nears the bed, a huge tentacle shoots out and swiftly wraps itself around him. The giant octopus has Johnny, thinks Sue. Johnny struggles and struggles, but no matter what he does, he can't break free. And because I'm underwater, I can't flame on, thinks Johnny. I'm helpless. The angry octopus sees Sue and reaches out to grab her, too. Sue tries to swim away, but the octopus is so close, she's afraid she'll never escape. Just then, Reed looks up from his underwater bed. I've got to stop that octopus from catching Sue, thinks Reed. Quickly, he stretches his arm and wraps it around the octopus's tentacles, just in time. Good. That saves Sue, thinks Reed. Now to rescue Johnny. Meanwhile, Sue swims up to their ship. Captain Thing is quietly reading his favorite magazine when she climbs on board. Ben! She gasps. Reed is trying to save Johnny from the giant octopus. You must come and help! I'm on my way, Susie gal, shouts the Thing. In a flash, the Thing is in his diving gear, swimming towards his friends. I'll teach that big pile of sea spaghetti to mess around with my friends, thinks the Thing. My Aunt Petunia always told me to tie nice knots in my shoelaces, thinks the Thing. This here's one she'd be proud of. Now to convince Matchhead's little playmate here the meaning of hands off, thinks the Thing. It's clobberin' time! And with a powerful blow, he knocks the giant octopus senseless, causing it to release Johnny immediately. 
As soon as they all get back on board the sailing ship, Johnny says, Thanks, Ben. You really saved the day. That's right, agrees Reed. Shucks, it was nothing, says the thing, blushing. It's almost supper time, says Sue. Let's head back to shore. Your wish is my command, Susie, says the thing. When the villagers hear what Ben did to the giant octopus, they are very happy. You, you are, are the, the greatest, greatest warrior in the world, they say to the thing. And the greatest warrior must have the greatest honor we can give. We shall make you honorary chief of our island. Huh? says the thing, as they place the flower crown on his head. Well, how about that? Me, chief thing. All too soon, their vacation comes to an end. With tears in their eyes, the Fantastic Four say goodbye to all their new friends. We had such a good time here, says Sue. We promise we'll be back real soon. That's for sure, adds Reed, Johnny, and the thing. Then, as the sun begins to set, they all fly back to the Baxter building in the Fantastic Park. It's been an exciting vacation. Thank you.